Paranyak, officially the city of Paranyak, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Paranyak, Tagalog pronunciation, Pa Aki, or simply known as Paranyak City, is a first class highly urbanized city in Metro Manila, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 665,822 people. It is bordered to the north by Pasay, to the northeast by Taguig, to the southeast by Muntinlupa, to the southwest by Las Piñas, and to the west by Manila Bay. Like the rest of Metro Manila, Parañaque experiences a tropical climate with only two distinct seasons, wet July to September, and dry October to June. The city enjoys an annual rainfall of 1,822 mm .7 in, and an average daily maximum temperature of 34.4 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit. Parañaque is the home of the PAGCOR Entertainment City, a gaming and entertainment complex under development by the state-owned Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation spanning an area of 8 square kilometers .1 square miles in Bay City, where four large integrated resorts are based namely Solaire Resort and Casino, City of Dreams Manila, Okada Manila, and the soon-to-be-completed Westside City Resorts World. Etymology There are several accounts as to how Parañaque got its name. One such story stated that long ago, at the mouth of what is now known as the Parañaque River, there stood a ballet tree that, when viewed from afar, looked like a majestic ship. This earned it the name Palanyag, taken from the term Palayag, which means point of navigation. Another version of the story was that, before the Spanish colonizers came to the Philippines, there were some natives who lived close to the Manila Bay whose main livelihood was fishing or pangangista. On the other hand, the neighboring place from the east called Muntinlupa had rice farmers who were referred to as Tagapalayan. One day, the fishermen and rice farmers had a feast and many got drunk from tuba or fermented coconut wine. One farmer suggested that they should name the whole place Palayan as a sign of cooperation and goodwill between them. However, a fisherman protested and stated that they should name it Palalayag instead. As a compromise, they agreed to merge these two words and came up with Palalanyag. However, another drunken guest shouted, Mabuhay ang Palanyag at ang mga taga Palanyag. The rest liked this word better and ever since then, the place was called Palanyag. In another story handed down to generations, when the Philippines was conquered by the Spaniards, some soldiers riding a horse-drawn carriage asked to be taken to a certain place. However, the coachman did not understand the Spanish soldiers' pronunciation. When they arrived, one of the soldiers said para aquí, para aquí, meaning, stop here, stop here. The coachman did not understand and kept going whereas the soldier also repeated his instruction, para aquí, para aquí. The coachman left the carriage and told the townspeople that these Spaniards are repeatedly saying para anaya ape, para anaya ape, to which the townspeople just laughed. The incident circulated and was repeated around for days and the term, para anaya ape, stuck. History Early history due to their proximity to the sea, the early Paranyakenyos traded with the Chinese, Japanese, Indonesians, Indians and Malays. Traditional livelihoods included salt making, fishing, planting rice, shoemaking, slipper making and weaving. Spanish period Paranyak was officially founded in the year 1580 by order of St. Augustine and it was Fray Diego de Espanar, OSA who became the first minister of the town. The Council of the Definitors, a conference of chiefs of the religious orders, held on the 11th of June 1580, Conquistas de las Islas of Fray Gaspar San Agustin, OSA, accepted the village of Palanyag, as Parañaque as an independent pueblo. Other towns in the islands which simultaneously established on the same date according to the 1580 chapter of the Augustinians was, Malolos, in Bulacan, Bulacade, in Panay, Bantayan, in Cebu. The image of Palanyag. S. Patroness, Nuestra Señora del Buen Suciso, was brought to St. Andrew's Cathedral in La Huerta on August 10, 1625. Nuestra Señora del Buen Suciso is the third oldest Marian image in the Philippines. Early Spanish census dated 1591 to 1593 also mentioned Longolo, or Don Gallo, and Parañaque as two villages along Manila Bay composed of some 800 tribute payers. Politically, Don Gallo and Parañaque were then under the Encomienda and Provincia de Tondo. The community was headed by Cabezas de Barangay, a westernized version of Datus, chieftains, and the Principalia, the local aristocrats, who together justified and moderated the demands of the Spanish colonizers. Education was limited to the Principalia as they were the only ones who could afford it. 
Historical accounts state that the town's strategic location enabled the townspeople to play an important role in Philippine history. Palanyag was located at the crossroads of Manila, between the provinces of Cavite and Batangas. In 1574 during the invasion of the town by the Chinese pirate Limahong, Paranyakinos, particularly those from Barangay Don Gallo, heroically aided in preventing the attack in Manila. This incident became known as the Red Sea Incident, due to the blood that flowed through the sacrifice of the people of Barrio Sta. Monica. With the arrival of Spanish forces led by Captain Juan de Salcedo from Ilocos, Limahong was finally repulsed and the occupation of the town was prevented. When the British invaded Manila in 1762, the townspeople once again remained loyal to the Spanish colonizers, especially the Augustinians. The invasion however showed that the Spaniards was not invincible and that their rule was not to be permanent. More than a hundred years later, this would prove to be true. During the Philippine Revolution of 1896 to 1898, the Spaniards realized that the town was a practical gateway to Cavite, the bastion of the revolutionary Katipuneros. Conversely, the Katipuneros based in Cavite saw the town as their gateway to Intramuros, the Spanish seat of government in Manila. Prominent Paracenos such as Manuel Cuyog and secular priest Father Pedro Dandan y Masangay became leading revolutionary figures. American period During the American period of the Philippines, Parañaque became one of the first municipalities in the Metro Manila region. World War II During the Japanese occupation of the Philippines in World War II, Parañaque supplied leadership to guerrilla movements such as the ROTC hunters, as well as food and arms. Parañaque was one of the first towns to be liberated and its guerrillas helped pave the way for the combined American and Philippine Commonwealth forces to enter the south of Manila. As can be gleaned from the above, Parañaque has played and continues to play a strategic role in the Philippines' political and economic progress. After the liberation and the Battle of Parañaque on 1945 by combined Filipino and American ground troops with local recognized guerrillas, the general headquarters of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and Philippine Constabulary was rebuilt and stationed in Parañaque after the war. Parañaque today Owing to Parañaque's strategic location, it is an important center for trade and business in Metro Manila. Baclaran, where a large number of dry goods stores are located, is one of the busiest markets in the country. Small fishing villages called Fishermen's Wharves are also situated alongside Barangay La Huerta, where the famous DAMPA, a seaside market with numerous restaurants serving fresh seafood, is found. This has the country's international airport as well as the Baclaran Church, one of the most active parishes in Manila, the duty-free for imported goods, and of course Ang Bagong Nayong Pilipino Entertainment City where three, three integrated resorts IR, licensed by PAGCOR, Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation are located. Timeline November 8, 1975, Parañaque was a municipality of Rizal, until November 7, 1975, by virtue of Presidential Decree No. 824, when Parañaque became a part of Metropolitan Manila or the National Capital Region. November 1980, Parañaque celebrated its 400th anniversary of a former municipality. November 1985, Parañaque celebrated its 405th anniversary of a former municipality. November 1990 – Parañaque celebrated its 410th anniversary of a former municipality. November 1995 – Parañaque celebrated its 415th anniversary of a former municipality. February 15, 1998 – Parañaque was converted as the 11th city in Metro Manila after sister city Las Piñas in 1997, and was chartered and urbanized by then-President Fidel V. Ramos during the celebration of the city's 418th founding anniversary. November 2000 – Parañaque celebrated its 420th anniversary of a former municipality now a city, celebrated its 422nd founding anniversary as a municipality now turned into a city. February 2003, the city of Parañaque celebrated its fifth cityhood anniversary. November 2005, Parañaque celebrated its 425th anniversary of a former municipality now a city. February 2008, the city of Parañaque celebrated its 10th cityhood anniversary. 
February 2009, Speedworld Motorcross Racing Park was formally opened beside SM Bikutan in West Bikutan, Parañaque. November 2010 – Parañaque celebrated its 430th anniversary of a former municipality now a city. February 2013 – The city of Parañaque celebrated its 15th year cityhood anniversary. March 16, 2013 – Solaire Resort and Casino was officially launched, marking the first casino hotel located in Entertainment City, and also the first six-star hotel in Parañaque. February 2, 2015, City of Dreams Manila was officially launched, marking the second casino hotel located in Entertainment City after Solaire Resort and Casino, and also the second six-star hotel in Parañaque. November 2015, Parañaque celebrated its 435th anniversary of a former municipality now a city. February 2016, the City of Parañaque celebrated its 18th year cityhood anniversary. December 30, 2016, Okada Manila was officially launched, marking the third casino hotel located in Entertainment City after Solaire Resort and Casino and City of Dreams Manila, and also the third six-star hotel in Parañaque. February 2018, the city of Parañaque celebrated its 20th cityhood anniversary. Geography Parañaque is situated in the southern portion of Metro Manila. It is subdivided into two distinct districts, each of which contains eight barangays. District I comprises Baclaran, Tombo, Don Gallo, Sto. Nino, La Huerta, San Dionisio, Vitales and San Isidro, while the District 2 consists of Barangays BF, San Antonio, Marcelo Green, Sun Valley, Don Bosco, Moonwalk, Merville and San Martin de Porras. Local government Parañaque is composed of two congressional districts and two legislative districts which are further subdivided into 16 barangays. Legislative District 1 consists of eight barangays in the western half of the city, whilst Legislative District 2 consists of eight barangays in the eastern part of the city. Mayors of Parañaque districts and barangays demographics religion Most of Parañaque's population are Christians, mainly Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic churches in Parañaque are under the jurisdiction of the Diocese of Parañaque. There are two national shrines, the National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Help commonly known as the Baclaran Church or Redemptorist Church and the National Shrine of Mary Help of Christians. There are about 20 parishes and two sub-parishes. Other Christian denominations include Iglesia Ni Cristo and Ang Dating Don. There are also a number of non-Catholic, primarily Protestant, churches in Parañaque. El Shaddai is centered in the city. There is also a minority of Muslims, primarily living on Baclaran. There are two mosques in Parañaque. Economy shopping centers Parañaque also relies on shopping centers as part of its economy. The principal malls include SM City Sucket, opened in July 2001, SM City Bikutan, and SM City BF Parañaque, opened in 2016, all owned and operated by SM Supermalls of SM Prime Holdings. Robinsons operates one mall inside BF Homes and one supermarket. There are also smaller malls like Yaka Plaza, Pergola Lifestyle Mall, Asiana Square Mall and Nose Place Mall. Walter Mart has two malls of its franchise inside Parañaque. Duty Free Fiesta Mall is also located in Parañaque. Baclaran functions as the city's flea market, primarily selling clothing, especially school uniforms and costumes. Hotels and gambling Hotels and gambling also form part of Parañaque's economy. Integrated resorts Solaire Resort and Casino, City of Dreams Manila and Okada Manila attract foreign tourists. Closed in 2014, Casino Filipino once served as a casino in the city until the opening of Ang Bagong Nayan Pilipino or Entertainment City, in parts of Barangays Tambo and Don Gallo. Cockfighting is also common in the barangays. The Roligan Mega Cockpit found in Tambo, is considered as the largest and most modern cockpit in Asia. Culture Festivals Parañaque is famous for its lively festivals, such as the Caracol, a festival that revolves around boats. Parañaque has the Sambalilo Festival a festival that showcases different colors, sizes, and designs of the Sambalilo hat. The Sunduan Festival is a tradition in the city that depicts the act of a man fetching the object of his affection from the woman's home to bring her to church or the town plaza. Both festivals are held around February 13-15 for the cityhood of Parañaque's annual anniversary. The city stages the Senaculo, a reenactment of the Passion of Christ, during Holy Week, the Pasco ng Pagkabuhay during Easter, and the Santacruzan, a procession reenacting the search of the true cross of Christ, in May. 
Shortly thereafter, the colorful Flores de Mayo, a festival commemorating the discovery of the cross by Queen Elena, mother of Saint Constantine, is held. An outstanding feature of this historic town by the bay is the cultivation of its cultural traditions such as the Comedia and Badi Badi, among others, that continue to attract local and foreign tourists alike, especially during the summer months. Paranyak is known for sabong, a form of cockfighting constrained in coliseums. Transportation Railway Paranyak is served by the LRT-1 via Baclaran Station which is located in Pasay City, and the PNR via Bikutan Station. The LRT-1 is to be extended to Bacor. The actual construction will start by first quarter of 2019 once the right-of-way issues are substantially addressed. The groundbreaking of LRT Line 1 South Extension project was held on Thursday, May 4, 2017. The LRT Line 1 South Extension project will be done in phases. Once the Phase 1 is completed, Paranyak will be served by the LRT-1 via Redemptorist Station, Manila International Airport Station, Asia World Station, Ninoy Aquino Station and Dr. A. Santos Station. The extension from Baclaran to Dr. A. Santos Avenue is expected to be operational by third quarter of 2021. Airport Paranyak is the location of Terminal 1 of Ninoy Aquino International Airport, as the airport complex sits on the Pasay Paranyak border. It is located along Ninoy Aquino Avenue and many major international airlines operate flights from the terminal. Road network Paranyak is served by a network of expressways and arterial roads. Expressways, like Manila Cavite Expressway, and Metro Manila Skyway connects the city with the rest of Metro Manila and Calabarzon. The at-grade portion of Metro Manila Skyway in Parañaque has two service roads, namely the West Service Road and East Service Road, which both serves the communities and businesses lying near the expressway. The NAIA Expressway is the airport expressway that connects NAIA Terminal 1 Manila Cavite Expressway, Metro Manila Skyway and also the Entertainment City under development on the reclaimed area. Dr. Santos Avenue, formerly Sucat Road, Roxas Boulevard, Doña Soledad Avenue and El Pidio Quirino Avenue functions as the city's principal arterial roads. Carlos P. Garcia Avenue, C5 South Extension, which has been involved in land ownership controversies involving then-Senator Manny Villar, and C6 Road, which is proposed to be an expressway, serves as secondary arterial roads. B.F. Holmes Paranyak is served also by a network of arterial roads, serving residential and commercial areas within it. Education Paranyak has a diverse educational system with specializations in various academic and technical fields and is home to many schools and colleges such as PATTS College of Aeronautics which focuses on producing students specialized in the realm of aviation around the world, Olivares College, the only school accredited with both the Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges and Universities PAASCU, and the Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities, Commission on Accreditation PAC UCOA, which specializes in health-related sciences such as nursing, radiologic technology, physical therapy, and midwifery. Parañaque Science High School, St. Andrew's School, oldest private school in Parañaque, established 1917, Street. Paul College of Paranac, Manresa School, Sacred Heart School and Ann Arbor Learning Center amongst many others. Notable Residents Sister cities Local Cebu City, Cebu Panabo, Davao del Norte Tagum, Davao del Norte Iloilo City, Iloilo Malabon, Metro Manila Las Piñas, Metro Manila Pasay, Metro Manila Navotas, Metro Manila Tanga, Misamis Oriental Bacolod, Negros Occidental Foreign Hyundai District, Busan, South Korea Carson, California, United States 
See also Roman Catholic Diocese of Parañaque Cathedral Parish of St. Andrew Nuestra Señora del Buen Ceciso de Parañaque Parañaque River References New Paranac website as of 2017 http colon slash slash paranacacity.gov. ph External links Paranac City Official Website 2017 Diocese of Paranac Official Website Geographic data related to Paranac at OpenStreetMap